Hi there and welcome to this video. My name is Will and in this particular video what I want to do is just walk through um, a couple steps into how to design a, a simple application for pushing Telegram bot posts um, onto Telegram um, via a C Sharp application. So without much further ado, let's get straight into this video. So the first thing I want to draw your attention to is the user interface. I designed it as a as a rather lightweight design, I didn't want to kind of overcomplicate things at first. You just simply use this calendar picker to select the date of your campaign. I say campaign because you could have a, a, a variety of posts. Uh, you select the time. Let's do a couple minutes from now. So let's do 9 past 8. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put the standard hello world message. I'm going to place the bot token in the in the respective field. And what you want to do is add new post. And what this does, it just adds it to the list. So at 9 past 8, I can monitor the post, hello world. And then I simply push post to the push post to the client. I get a success message. Now from here I can either close the session or I can go back. So I just go back to the main screen. And um, what you have to do is initialize uh, chat with the bot. So hello bot. And this is quite an important step because what you what happens is the bot needs to know what user it needs to interact with. Um, it can't interact with everybody unless opted to. So once the user speaks to the bot, the program then knows, okay, this is the user I need to target, right? So once that happens, um, then the user or i.e. the target recipient of the message of the automated post campaigns can actually receive the messages from the bot. So as we can see, the time is nearing nine past eight. Um, we've got about 10 seconds from now. And I just want to demonstrate the post coming up. Uh, I think I induced a little bit of delay only because uh, I was trying to alleviate some double posting issues. But um, uh, as you can see, Hello World is has come up onto my client side. So let me see. I'll just do that now. <laughs> so anyway, uh, let's just go a little bit into the code just so I can just demonstrate exactly what's happening just very, very, very briefly um, just to kind of give you an idea if this is the sort of application that you are looking to build yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to jump straight into my Visual Studio. And um, yeah, let's get straight into this. So the main things I demonstrated was that calendar picker. So uh, after you select add new post, what happens is, and I, I do appreciate this is, I'm going to gloss over a lot of different things. Uh, so tell me if you want to see an actual in-depth tutorial as to how to build an application like this, because if there is enough, should I say like demand for that, I would be more than happy to do so. So please do let me know in the comments. This is just going to be a high level overview. Um, just kind of looking at things conceptually rather than nitpicking on all the functionality. So what you want to do is I have here a, a list and this list is stored within a particular class which is um, under this namespace or rather um, this directory models post details uh, main page view model. And what I opted to do, it's this is not really MVVM compliant, but I was experimenting with some binding at first. But what I, it, what I did is that I have this class called post details. I'll just go on it now. And I think my post list is here. Yeah, so I have a post list property, which is a list of string. And what actually happens is that I all the posts that I create for the schedule is added to a list. So you need to add it to some kind of collection. And then the calendar date picker, what it actually does, I store the value of that date uh, as this um, under the struct. It's the date date time offset. So what you want to do, you want to select the date and the time that the user is to receive the post. So what you can use, if you're using, uh, assuming you're using UWP as I am in this demonstration, you want a date time offset of some sort, and you want to assign um, a date time offset to the calendar value of your control. Once you've done that, what I opted to do is that I, I actually stored all the values separately. So I have different values for the, for the year, the month, the date, the hour, the minute, and the second. And then I sort of um, passed them as parameters into the date time offset and I named it timestamp. And I basically just passed the value of timestamp onto a list called post timestamp list. 
And then once I actually push the post to the client, I have here a special class called TG Connect. And what this does, there's an update functionality. And what this does, it loops um, every so often. I think I've done it to like every second or every millisecond. I think it's every second, just so it's not too taxing. But anyway, every second or such, I'm not too sure. I, I have to check dispatcher timer. Uh, it updates the current time. And this is just so that the program can know what time, um, when it, it compares the current time, so date time offset dot now, to the timestamps stored in the list. So it will check against the post timestamp list. Out, um, it will check via an index. And then it checks the specific time according to hours. Um, I think I have minutes as well. So the resolution goes down to the minute. And I don't know if, and yes, indeed, it does go down to the second as well. So that's the uh, time resolution I opted for. And then what happens is that once those um, um, these conditions have been met, then I do a check against a flag here, um, post to push. If it's not equal to delay push, it's just like a string flag, basically. Then what I do is I induce a delay of two seconds, and then I, I call this function called push post. And push post is quite simple. When you want to push your post, and assuming, again, I'm not using the latest version of the Telegram bot API here. Uh, I'll leave a, a, some information in description as to what version I'm using, uh, if I can hopefully get around to that after uploading. Uh, but I will update that at some point. Uh, I'm using the, I think it's version 15.7.1, but I will put it up on my um, on the description because this is the version for this app. I am currently experimenting with the latest build and hopefully once I can make some more progress on that, because uh, it's quite a different kind of like a setup you have to do, then I would, I'm actually gonna be uploading some more videos with the more later APIs in case you're quite interested in what you can do there. It's usually just one line of code when you wanna push posts. It's quite simple, send text message async. You just uh, fill out the overloads and then um, this actually is what is responsible for pushing your posts onto Telegram, but you're gonna need to construct this class, bot, which is actually a Telegram bot client class, and you're gonna make sure you're instantiating that correctly. So um, uh, I've statically, I've declared it statically, and what I've done, I have this HTTP client, and I've constructed the class, and then this bot is equal to new Telegram bot client, I pass the bot token <laughs> and I pass the HTTP client. And then um, from there, you can set up your events. And the events are what actually ensures you get the updates. So I'm setting my on message received here, bot on message, um, bot dot on message, and you set up your event bot on message. And this is what helps um, the program to receive updates um, as and when they come. So again, this is just a very brief overview. I just wanted to kind of give an idea as to how to um, achieve this sort of functionality. And you can scale it. You can scale this kind of functionality um, for multiple users, for multiple posts, um, media as well, different things. It's very exciting. So let me know in the comments what you actually want to see so that I can have an idea what kind of uh, walkthrough or content to create. Uh, there's a few things up in the pipeline. Um, I'm actually planning on releasing my um, this post scheduler application on the Microsoft Store. Um, more information about that as and when it's come. Early days, but I am looking towards that. Uh, I also do have a Fiverr handle. Uh, if I can get it up, let's see if it's in here. Did I have tab? Yeah, I did. So I have a Fiverr handle. Uh, if any of you are interested in getting a hold of some of my software, please do um, hit me up on my Fiverr. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. This is actually one of my other gigs. This is for my game, as you can, as you know, for my channel probably. I do do like 2D game stuff. But if I just scroll down, here it is. So um, this is my Telegram bot um, gig. So uh, I will develop a Telegram bot automated post scheduling application. So basically, uh, what quick a quick rundown. What I'm thinking of is having a light base version released on the Microsoft Store or some private website or some discrete website rather. Or well, obviously, it can't be private. It'll be like public, but it'll be discrete. As uh, so a lot of software is distributed on like um discrete websites, but I think the Microsoft Store is a good shot because everyone knows it, right? Uh, otherwise, if you want a more customized build that does 
specific functionality, then uh, get in touch with me on Vine My Fiverr and then we can talk because I'm offering a f some options here as to scaling this base um, software. So thanks very much. My LinkedIn is Williams Teddy Jimmo. Connect with me, connect with me there, uh, chat with me, all things software. And I bid you a great day. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.